How's it going guys, Mount Man Militia here. Today I wanna to start a series that we're gonna call Long Range Load Development. And uh, I'm gonna walk you basically through the steps on you have a rifle, you wanna get started in long range shooting, what do you need and how do you get to a point where you can consistently shoot targets at 800 to 1,000 yards. So without getting uh, too boring, let's just get right into it. This is the rifle we're gonna be using for this series. Is it a Savage 116? Stainless steel barrel. It is chambered in 30 out 6. I did finally manage to get some 10 round mags for this, so that's nice. We are clear, as you can see. <clears throat> Savage 116, 30 out 6. I am running a DNZ Game Reaper mount with a uh, Athlon Midas Tac 5 to 25 by 56. And then I have a little Vortex bubble level on there. So it's a fairly decent setup. Um, this does have a full aluminum bedding block in here, and I, I have uh, dremeled this stock down on the inside here to where it is more than free-floating, so you can see air through there pretty well. So, shouldn't have any issues with it hitting the barrel. Um, just got the standard Accu trigger on there, pretty decent trigger, and I'm running a Harris bipod. So, not too expensive of a setup. Um, if you save your pennies, pretty much anybody can buy this. And that's the rifle we're gonna be running. Now, the next thing we need is reloading components because you can shoot factory ammo and shoot long range, but it is vastly more consistent to reload. That comes with a challenge nowadays because finding some powder and primers can be a little bit difficult. Thankfully, I have stocked up in previous years and I have enough shit to do this. But uh, still, the number one thing you're gonna need is good brass. That can be a little hard to find nowadays. I I didn't have any match grade 30 out six brass laying around, but I did manage to find on Gun Broker a hundred piece set of Norma brass, which Norma is not as good as like Lapuasin or Lapuasin, Lapua or Peterson, but uh, it's better than Hornady, Federal, Remington, that kind of stuff. So I bought a hundred round a hundred piece set of that, and it's on its way. Next thing we're gonna need is bullets. The bullets that I'm going to be using is 168 grain Amax from Hornady. I happen to have a shit ton of these. They're decent long range bullets. They tend to shoot pretty well. And uh, you can use them for hunting too. So I'm going to go with that. Next, powder. H4350. I have a decent supply of that. Um, this is good for 260 Remington 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, you can also use it for 30 out 6. For a 160 grain bullet, you'd probably be using somewhere between 54 and 60 grains of it. And uh, yeah, it can work too. Next, what we're going to be using is uh, CCI Large Rifle Magnum Primers. Look at that. Can you tell how long ago I bought them? 469 for a 100 round set. And this was a 1,000 round brick. This would probably be hundreds of dollars now. But anyway... Those are the components we're going to be using, plus the brass. Stay tuned. Part two will be coming up in a little bit. 